Hi, in this movie we're going to take a look at a few polygon tools. We're going to take a look at the extrude tool, the wedge face tool, the insert edge loop tool, the bridge tool, the combine, and the smooth option in the polygons. I have a simple polygon cube over here. Let's select it. Let's right click, go to face, select one of the faces over here. Let's go to edit mesh under the polygons menu set, edit mesh, extrude. I'm going to click on this handle to give me the move rotate scale manipulator for the extrude. Let's quickly extrude this. Let's click on the scale handle and scale it from the center. Let's select these two faces on the side by holding down shift and let's do an extrude one more time. You can also hit G which is repeat last command G and let's scale it out, extrude it out and let's scale them down this way. Let's right click, go to object mode move this back. Now we're going to take a look at the wedge face tool. For the wedge face you need a face and an edge. So let's select the face first. Let's right click edge, shift select this edge and go to edit mesh wedge face. And my options on the wedge face are I have at six divisions. There you go. The next thing we're going to take a look at is I wanted to split this. I'm on a loop running all the way through over here, all the way across. So I'm going to do that by the insert edge loop tool. So let's go to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. If I go to the options, there's a bunch of options over here. I can also insert multiple edges and specify how many. I'm just going to insert just one over here, right there. And you can see it goes all the way across. I'm also going to go and delete some faces over here. And let's quickly duplicate this geometry on the other side with the mirror option. So there's a nice easy way of doing that by going to edit, duplicate special. And I'm going to use, since this is the x-axis, I'm going to use a duplicate with the negative 1 scaling in x. That gives me another similar geometry on this side. Now I want to combine these two. I can very easily do that by selecting one, selecting the second one, and going to Mesh, Combine. And finally, I'm going to go and double click on this edge, so it selects the entire edges over there, and Shift Select, and while holding down Shift, I'm going to double click on the other edge, the other side, and I'm going to simply go under Edit Mesh, bridge. And again the bridge has a lot of options. I'm using smooth path plus curve with five divisions. And there we go. Right click, go to object mode. And finally if I wanted to smooth this I can go under mesh, smooth with two divisions right here. Let's say smooth. And that's what it looks like right now. And you can control the smoothing right from the input node right here divisions.